skip ahead about five minutes if you want to uh, skip this thing. Spoiler what? alert, if you care about SmackDown, mm -hmm. and you care about Extreme Rules, like we said, this is neither extreme nor does it rule. Um, Sheamus and Dolph Ziggler, which we knew they were fighting, mm -hmm. they're going to have a Kiss Me R match. Mm-hmm. Um, in which I guess the loser has to kiss the other one's rear end. Um, what stipulation is that, that that makes it a hardcore match? Well, it, it's extreme. Well, yeah. extreme. Maybe they ate a lot of burritos before the match. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I, I Maybe you watch a different kind of hardcore film than I do. That yeah, is true. That's, that's true. true. I've seen true. I've seen a lot of films <laughs> and just like that. That is true. In Seattle, they call it a tossed salad and scrambled eggs match. Oh, okay. Um, well, hey, hey, the bell's calling again. <laughs> God damn it! And, and, and beyond that, <laughs> and beyond that, we do have a Rush, uh, Russian chain match. But uh, you know, I wonder at what point you know we've we've had a very settled down uh, of WWE over the years, where it's not hardcore, it's not extreme like it used to be. You know, uh, you know, after the the re rise of ECW. Um, you know, do, does extreme rules work anymore for us? Um, yes and no. Mm -hmm. As a pay per view, um, as a pay per view, as saying this is extreme, you know, and then it's like you know, a kiss my arse match, or you know, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I like even even WWE hardcore matches are mostly like special effect, like people going through the the screen uh, the. Titantron screen and they're doing explosions. Like it's like it's very much like stage. Like it's, it's an like, excuse to do a stunt? Yeah, it's more like stunt work more than it is like actual hardcore wrestling. That's a really interesting thing to connect. Uh Chris, what do what do you think about the, the, the state of extreme in the WWE or wrestling in general at this point? Well, I mean, uh you know, after the death of ECW and after uh, as we moved into the, the PG era um, I think the WWE realized that there was a lot more money to be made uh, appealing to kids, families, things of that nature. And part of and also a lot more money to be made from sponsors, from uh, major advertisers and, and things like that. And they realized very quickly that to appeal to those mainstream sponsors and to appeal to those kids and the toy manufacturers and, and you can see now they have you know sponsorships with cell phone companies and uh you know, major corporations that seeing somebody get their head split open uh, on pay-per-view just wasn't going to jive with that. Mm -hmm. And um, they've done some things to to try and uh, to to try and please both masters. But I, I think the era of of hardcore and of of blood and guts, and I, I just think that at least when it comes to WWE, that era is is long gone. Mm -hmm. And um, there's just there's so much more money to be made with a, at this point, a PG product. Um, for for those of us who were fans of of ECW and were fans of that style, it, it you know it can be disappointing. But on the, you know, on the other hand, to look back at some of that stuff and to see people get you know unprotected chair shots and right, the, right. you know razor wire. I mean, hell, there's a lawsuit about the about, about the concussions that just came up. Yeah, I mean, the the appeal of it it has uh, has lost. And I mean, there are places that that do do it. I know that VOW does, um, you know, has their anarchy title, mm -hmm. and you know, does to delve into that. But even that is very, very different than the, you know, even that is, I think, there's there's landing on on barbed wire versus mm -hmm. you know getting get, get cut versus a, a mm -hmm. chair shot like that, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, uh, and unfortunately, you do see it. I, I've seen, I would say, two unprotected chair shots. Across not just VOW, I've mm -hmm. seen one in IWC uh, within the past year, you know. And every time it's like, ugh, you know. Um, and, and I hope the person taking it, you know, said, okay, I'm going to take that, you know. Mm -hmm. And even the footage helped. It was a Ray, not Raylan that we would talk about on Indie Mayhem show, Eamon? No, uh, Kimberly. 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 That's Kimberly. Right, that's right. Oh, that footage with uh, against Chris uh, Dickinson. Yeah, yeah. Chris Dickinson. yeah. I mean yeah. that and that one. I think the reason why that was so shocking is that we haven't seen anything like that in so long mm -hmm. um you can go back to ecw and and um tommy dreamer was pile driving yeah. you know 
was power driving yeah. women on a fairly regular it, basis. It, it looked just as sick as as, as that footage did. Just we yeah. we it, so WWE I think has done well in reconditioning us to not want the blood and guts. Absolutely, like they, I think they've done very well for it. Mm. But I feel like when you get to your TLC and your Extreme Rules and your even your Hell in a Cells, mm -hmm. yeah. like I like that reminds us of that stuff, mm -hmm. and like they need to do something different. Do you think that. it's also a case of? Um, like a case of even beyond like the blood and stuff like that, like what can we really do anymore? Like, I feel like right. the attitude era sort of, even the stuff that he did with, like, like you said, I feel like TLC like this past year was like, what, what are they doing anymore? Like there, you know, there's not much you can.